Hello, I am Blessing Nawadu. I am asked to speak on what love means. It's a goodwill affection towards a person, a people, or a goodwill affection you share with a person. You don't love things. You may like things, but when it comes to love, love is shared with persons. When you try to express love in court and it benefits you at the expense of the person, then that's normal love. And, and you, know, no, you know, love is, is primarily expressed in giving. To express love sometimes, the person involved may not deserve it. Love brings stability. Love brings peace. Love brings joy. Love brings sharing, giving, and all that. So love is just a beautiful thing. And I wish you the best. Just go enjoy love. God bless you. And I welcome you to the Valentine special. And the season of love is here, so we're discussing about love, relationship, dating, and courtship. I have with me my guest, like I said before. Let's meet our guest. Here with me is Khadija. Hi guys. Polari. Hi guys. And Eva. Hello. Okay, so this question is for Eva. Do you agree that love changes people? Can you give us reasons? Probably yes or no. So tell us, do you agree that love changes people? Yes, I totally agree. Love can change a person. You know, we can do anything for love. Anyone can do anything. If you love somebody, you can do anything for the person you love. So love can change a person in a positive way and also in a negative way, in a good or a bad way. Like, let's assume you're dating somebody who drinks or smokes and all those things. But before, and just because of the love you have for that person, you probably want to change. Because of the love you have for the person, you want to change your character, you want to change the bad things that you've been doing before, like keeping late nights and all those things. And your spouse or, let's say your spouse has been telling you, or your girlfriend or boyfriend has been warning you about, just because of the love you have for that person, you just have to change your ways. So love can change a person. And as well, if, you're dating someone who drinks or smokes also. You can as well begin to exhibit those habits, those character. So it also change the person in a positive and a negative way. Okay, yeah. thank you very much. Thank sure. you. All right. Can love change someone? Yeah, definitely it can. When a person is being shown love, the person already feels accepted. The person already feels cared for, the person already feels important, the person already feels alive, feels on top of the world, it feels embraced, it feels valuable. Trust me, the best of that person will appear. So love literally brings out the best in a person. From the religious point of view, do you think Valentine is worth celebrating? Yes, Valentine is quite very, very much worth celebrating. There is no biblical reasons why you should not celebrate Valentine actually. Because if we see the reason why Valentine came to be, it has to do with the old Roman descent Valentine, the Roman Empire world, where that day was meant to share gifts and to share love with loved ones. So even the Bible admonishes us, we should share love. But the only question right now here is that, in quote, this generation abused the word Valentine. Like you see people that are not yet married, going on that day, doing extra, or doing what married people should do. So I think the bone of contention right now is that how do we manage people who should celebrate Valentine in a religious manner? Okay, Thank so, you very much. So can you tell us, like, what do you think, the religious manner, what do you think people should do? How do you think people should celebrate Valentine's Day? Just All right. How do I think people should? Okay. Number one, whoever you think, because we are we're kind of using it in people in relationship now. Let's let's be sensitive to that. People in relationship, yes, they should celebrate it. But let us be cautious of, for instance, intimacy. Yes, you should know having all biblical understanding that one once you are not married with someone, you should not be you should not allow yourself to be carried away. Because the world have it at the mind of my, their minds that day they do come out 
and maybe they want to have intimacy with themselves so to me one of it is to avoid intimacy okay so this question is for Khadija so how do you feel loved by someone what are your love languages or what is your love language um okay for me i like when someone goes extra like when someone goes out of their way to get things done for me i like gifts and i like food i like food god i like food if you just get me food i just feel loved and also i like when someone shows interest in your goals your aspiration and everything they just show interest in things that um you want to make you be big in the future okay i'm excited one of our guests that i've been expecting just came in and we have mary Kella in the house hello do you think love can fade away if yes how can it be sustained wow love can fade away if your love is what dependent on a particular thing do you understand like let me take for example if you love me because i'm slim there's a tendency that i might get fat when i get married or probably give birth so okay if i should get fat now that means you won't love me again so that actually if if your love is dependent on my slimness that means it can actually fade away so how can it be sustained it can only be sustained if your love is not based on physical attributes if it's only based on what on christ so your love should be based on what christ it should be built on christ with that way it can never fade away thank you thank you okay so we finally come to the end of the valentine special it's been an exciting moment so i'm going to do something i'm sure there's no respect and you can mention the name of that person just give a shout out to the love of your life that wonderful person i'm going to start with the man in the house for larry all right i want to really thank my uncle for giving me the first opportunity to say something but though she called me unaware okay like I fondly call her Olori. You know I love you always, right? Um, okay, I wanna give a shout out to the person I love so much. Um, I just wanna let you know that I love you, God. I can't even explain how much or describe how much I love you, but I just really want to let you know that I love you so so much. <laughs> Thank you for always being there. Aww. And for the food and for everything, the gifts, I really do appreciate your presence in my life and I just wanna say I love you big time. Aww. Okay. I never thought I'd find a man with so much strength, with integrity, with love, with I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. You're just full of I don't know what to say, but I love. You. I call you God's gift because that's who you are to me. I really, really appreciate your love, your care, and everything you are. Thank you. God bless you. I love you. Chibike. <laughs>